clock is ticking. Days, months, years are passing by and it's time for you to figure out how to escape the Monday 9 to 5 grind. That's why in this video, me and Johnny are going to give you the best and quickest way to make 10k a month in 2023. Now let's make something clear. This route is not for everyone because you can't just half ass it. Don't get me wrong. Anyone can be successful with this method, but you have to have the determination to succeed, which many don't. If you're determined and truly ready to achieve financial freedom, then let's get into it. It's called remote cleaning. I'm Sergio, and me and Johnny actually started a remote cleaning business for his mom that did 12K the first month, and now it consistently makes 30K per month in revenue. So I'm probably bringing home anywhere from between six and eight thousand a month and now we want to teach you how to do the same so when me and sergio first originally skipped class back in 2017 went to the beach and started talking about what we were going to do after college we both had no idea that you could just start a business we thought you needed a degree i know it sounds crazy but coming where we come from we didn't have any entrepreneurs in our family or anybody to lean on we didn't know a single entrepreneur ultimately we ended up building that business over four years to sixty-five thousand dollars a month and running it completely remotely spending only four to five hours a month running the business and so there was one key catalyst in this whole journey that changed everything for us the moment that changed everything was we had an employee that came to us after he quit because he was gonna start his own business and he said hey if you ever need any jobs done I'll take care of the jobs for you you don't have to buy my equipment I have my own helper I have my own truck I'll show up do the job just pay me 50% we don't pay any workers comp we don't pay any payroll tax and I'm thinking to myself there's no shot in hell we're doing that because he's not gonna show up in our wrap truck he's not not gonna set the proper expectations. It wasn't until when we were completely maxed out on all of our manpower and a residential customer called us that we do every year for four grand, a huge house. So it was a big job and we needed it done and I had no idea how we were gonna do it. And that's when I thought of this employee. And I called him, I said, hey man, we need this job done. I'll pay you 50%, go take care of it. Didn't hear from him for two days, showed up at our office, handed me a check for $4,000. And I didn't have to staff his truck, I didn't have to train his guys, I didn't have to get his truck ready in the morning, I didn't have to do anything. I just kicked back and collected the check and that's when the remote model was born. They made more money, we became way more profitable, and instantly, Sergio and I were completely out of the field, done with the heavy lifting, done with doing the cleaning ourselves, done with managing big teams of employees, and more importantly, we actually had time now to work on the business instead of in the business. So let me explain how it works, because traditionally, someone would go to Home Depot, buy some supplies, start looking for cleaning jobs, and do the cleaning themselves, but the remote cleaning model is completely different. You don't actually have to do any of the cleaning yourself. You're able to leverage your time and hire people, hire contractors that are gonna clean the houses for you and in turn you get 50%, they get 50% and that is how you're able to run a cleaning business without having to do the cleaning yourself. I want you guys to imagine this is a ladder. On one side you have sales and the other side you have fulfillment. If these are not growing evenly, your ladder will collapse. Maybe you're the one doing the fulfillment and you're selling too much. You don't have enough capacity to actually complete the service. This is true for any service business. I don't care if it's a nail salon, if it's a land landscaping business or a cleaning business. But the beauty of remote house cleaning is that you don't have to actually do the service yourself or the sales because from day one, you can hire contractors and cleaners to actually clean the house and you can hire a virtual assistant to actually take the sales calls. And this creates something called leverage and this is something that it took me and johnny way too long to figure out now once you have the cleaners and the va how does this business model even work well first of all there's millions of houses that need to be cleaned you can find people that need their houses clean on any local directories that people are looking for house cleaning once you have those people that need the house clean you're going to take the job in as yourself and you're going to pass it on to one of the cleaners that you hired after doing the job you're going to split that 50 50 with the cleaner the cleaner only has to worry about having to show up and do the job and, and that's the biggest selling point because they don't want to do the marketing and the sales and having to collect the payment and deal with the customer service. They just want to show up and do the clean. Since you're doing all the other stuff, you're able to get a 50% cut, which is going to allow you to pay for the marketing and actually have profit in the business. So I would recommend probably having around $1,000. This is going to get you a good head start to be able to make your first 10K per month. How is that even possible? It's $300 on average for every job. If you multiply that by 33 jobs, roughly around one per day, that comes out to $10,000. And in order to do one to two jobs per day, you really only need one to two cleaners. This is really not that difficult to get to 10K per month in a short amount of time, two to three months. Now, let me explain to you why you should take action today. It's important for you to understand that cleaning is one of the least volatile 
industries in the whole United, in, in the whole world. Because houses, buildings get dirty over and over again. It's not going anywhere. People have paid people to clean their homes for centuries. If you want an industry where you can come in and you know your competition is completely lacking in every aspect, and you have the free playbook on this channel how to do it, the cleaning industry is ripe for the taking. And it doesn't take that much money. And you making between a 30 and 40% net profit margin. Our first year in business, we did $5,000 in revenue for the whole year. The next year, we did 10,000 in revenue. $15,000 in revenue in two years. Now keep in mind, we were college students and stuff and had other stuff going on, and it wasn't a full-time thing, but still, it took us time because we had to learn the skills. And knowing what we know now, if I could go back in time, I could bypass all this stuff by employing the leverage and getting people to do the tasks that aren't worth my time. The only thing preventing you from getting to 10K a month, especially in something as proven as house cleaning, is your mentality about things. And it's you not taking action. So many people have built million dollar cleaning businesses at this point, and I promise you, if we look at it statistically, you're probably not the dumbest, you're probably not the smartest person, you probably land somewhere in the middle. So if someone else can do it, so can you.